Alright guys, um, so um, I will do, I make this video so that I can uh, remember what I did uh, to get the uh, quality wing RJ70 to work in uh, Prepad 3D version 3 or version 3.1. Um, I recently managed to get it work again uh, after experiencing some problem and I feel that the whole process is like performing a rain dance you know praying that the sky will bring down the rain and so you know to make the uh, RJ70 from quality wing to work in perfect 3D just be prepared that uh, there is no standard step uh, to it I just uh, did certain uh, very uh, weird steps just to get it working again and I'd like to record it in this video so that uh, I could remember it and also to benefit those uh, who like to uh, fly the quality wing RJ70 uh, or the BA146 the okay, first thing you want to check is the uh, check that you have installed the uh, the SIM connect. Uh, what I have here, uh, which I just uh, uninstalled and installed from the prepared 3D uh, version 3 redistribu redistributable folder. You need to have all these four. Just check the number here, right? One, two, three, four. And how to install this? You need to go to the your uh, prepared 3D version 3. There is a folder uh, called the uh, re R E D I S T, which is which stands for redistributable. So, and there's a folder here called the uh, interface. And you have to perform the installation for this one. There are four of them that you need to do. One, two, uh, three, and four. If you go into each of them, for example, the EPS V1, you will see this simconnect.ms. Uh, I just run it. And if you haven't installed, the program will install it. And if you already have it, uh, it's better that, as I say, it's like a ritual that we need to perform. You have to first the uh, uninstall right uninstall from the control panel like uninstall first because uh, I did that and it worked for me do a fresh install in any case just to uh, you know make sure so same for the the other three uh, the RTM FSX RTM you'll see the retail folder LIP and then uh, SYNCONNECT MSI run this as well same for this SP1 retail is always in the same uh, folder right and then the X pack which is the acceleration pack I believe same is in the LIP run this so make sure you uninstall clear this out and reinstall them so after you have done this, you may want to check uh, in the uh, prepared 3D. Uh, go to user uh, and then look in the roaming. Uh, look for uh, Lockheed Martin and then prepare 3D V3. You have the uh, what they call the uh, SIM connect. Uh, previously, I have this file active. For this round, I actually off them. That means I don't want them to be there. Right? Remember to uh, just put, uh, if you don't want to delete it, uh, in my case, I don't want to delete it, so I put, uh, I rename it to a off. Right? <coughs> yeah, excuse me. And so with that, you will know that this is the, the same connect part of the ritual that you need to perform. And now, uh, you can check uh, Remember, in my prepare 3D, I have uh, preload the uh, quality wing RJ70 to be the default uh, 
plane to start up the Prepare 3D uh, version 3.1. Uh, if what you did is uh, after you reinstall all your uh, Swim Connect, if everything is okay, you will get uh, the, all the panel of the uh, uh, quality wing RJ70 working. Uh, common uh, <coughs> the, the common uh, problem that we have uh, for this plane in version 3 preparatory is that uh, some of the uh, button uh, in the virtual copy do not work. So if everything is okay, uh, you will get the, for example, you see, if it's not working, your you will not be able to uh, adjust the altitude here. Let me switch off the sound. Right, so mine is working okay. With the flex also working. So if everything is performed, uh, as I said, the creature is performed correctly, you will get all the button working. But in the condition that you must load it as the first aircraft uh, in Prepare 3D version 3 or 3.1 right so uh, with that now there are a few things to take note one is the uh, you if you load the another plane after you you know you want to fly another plane after you fly the RJ for example in this case I just want to show you this because this is the one that will get you stuck the virtual copy button. So I load a uh, Piper cup and uh, okay after that if you immediately load the RJ again now what happened is uh, this is a bad uh, step to take because once you load it well, okay it's working still working okay if you load other aircraft not this aircraft something uh, more complex for example i load the uh, say uh, tc okay and then i load the rj again somehow if your aircraft if you switch on to another aircraft that is more complex, uh, you may get the virtual. Now it's stuck. As you can see, uh, the altitude uh, uh, setting is no longer active. And, and the flap is no longer active as well. Right? The flap is no longer clickable. Yeah, so just be mindful about this every time you want to switch to another aircraft. And the moment you want to switch it back to RJ, you need to restart your Prepare 3D. Let's try it now. So as I said, it's, uh, it's kind of quite uh, random, the problem. So until a quality wing come up with the installer or maybe a fix for this issue for the version 3 uh, we will continue having it for ever. I'm having some uh, prepare 3D uh, problem now it's ok let's uh, restart uh, prepare 3D again uh, prepare 3D v3.1 now I've uh, got the virtual copy to to be unworkable uh, one time right after I uh, change to another aircraft in Prepare 3D the observation that I got is that once you got it stuck once you if you reload Prepare 3D again with the same default uh, scene or scenario you may have the cockpit stuck forever from now. Let's, let's see whether it will happen again. As I said, the problem is kind of random. Let's see whether your work okay is okay now.
it's not stuck for now. But in any case, if you after you restart the perpetuity and the RJ no longer working, that means you need to uh, restart your PC. That that's my step that I get. So you have to perform certain steps like a rain dance feature in order to get the account to work again. In this case, it's not stuck. And another observation that I got is that uh, uh, after a few flights uh, without restarting uh, the 3D, the unclickable virtual copy may problem may come back again. Yeah. So uh, just to let everyone know, uh, especially those who like to fly the quality wing RJ. 7-0 or the BAE-146 <laughs> You may try this feature and see whether it works for you It may, sometimes it works for me, sometimes it won't work So just uh, give it a shot and and leave any comment that you have or any steps that you perform that uh, will make the uh, RJ-70 work from quality things and in any case, if Anyone out there who know how to solve the pro this problem in a more scientific way, please also let us know. Leave the comment below. Alright, and that's all for this video, and thank you.